Some people say that Cleopatra was not that beautiful, that what made her look beautiful was the use of different types of essences. Rose was one of her favorites. And essential oils have been used for beauty for thousands of years. So today we're going to do an aromatherapy blend that is going to be helpful for our skin. I have chosen several oils for my specific type of skin. I have like a combination, a lot of uh, oily part here, very dry in this area, and of course uh, my wrinkles around my eyes and my wrinkles here on my neck. So I thought about using essential oils that can cover all of those aspects and really help my skin look more um, healthy and natural. So I chose jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is an oil that is actually a wax and you can use it either for oily skin or for dry skin. If you use it for oily skin, it's almost like saying uh, that like your sebaceous glands start to relax and stop producing extra sebum. Jojoba helps to balance the, the, the amount of sebum in your skin. And if you need it for a dry skin, on the other hand, so jojoba oil is going to help to uh, retain the moisture in your skin. So in, in this case, I'm using jojoba and um, it's about an ounce and we're going to use frankincense essential oil. That's going to be one of my main ones. The reason why I love frankincense, apart from its beautiful scent, is that it is extracted from a resin of a tree. And when uh, these people who gather the, the resins, um, what they do is they uh, produce a wound in the tree. And the tree releases this resin in order to heal the wound. So you can use frankincense to heal wounds, um, for instance, stretch marks, and of course wrinkles, any type of scar tissue. So I'm going to add around five drops of frankincense. just adore this smell. And lavender is my second choice. And lavender, if you have to choose just one essential oil for skincare, lavender is your choice. It has anti-inflammatory properties, it's very antiseptic, antibacterial, and it works with all skin care, I mean, all skin types. So I'm going to add exactly five drops also of lavender. And finally, I'm going to spoil myself by using rose. This is rose absolute and it's very pure. And rose is, um, as a flower, provides beauty, um, external beauty and also internal beauty. It's used because it helps with tissue regeneration. It's great for broken capillaries, especially around the nose. It stimulates circulation and it's great for wrinkles. So. This is around, maybe, again, four or five small drops of rose. You can imagine how this is smelling. You can add other citrus oils, either lemon or grapefruit, if you want to use this oil as your uh, evening oil. Uh, I'm going to use this as my evening oil, and I, I don't recommend to use citrus oils if you're going to be outside in the light, in the sunlight, because they are photosensitizers, which means that your skin can be irritated or receive too much um, or get uh, burnt with the use of citrus on your skin. So since I'm going to use it in the evening, I'm going to put again maybe another five drops of, uh, of lemon. And lemon is bright and happy and it provides that extra kick to the smell, but at the same time it also helps with circulation and also helps to balance sebum in your skin. So since I have a combination skin, it's perfect. You just shake it a little bit, everything is already there, and you're all set. Now, the way to use it is very simple. You don't want to put a lot, you don't want to apply a lot. It, um, just a couple of drops is more than enough. And let me just... It's two drops here, around two drops, two pumps. I put between my fingertips, and the way to do it is press and release press and release not rubbing your face just pressing and releasing of course you can do some massage on your neck you can put an extra amount maybe here around your eye 
in your eye, eye area and that's it just enjoy and see the results that your skin is going to look later thank you